everybody, what's up? It's Jared here with 1UP Creative, and today we're going to be looking at the EOS HD log picture profile. So what EOS HD did is they went and made a picture profile for Canon cameras, uh, and the Canon picture profile is supposed to represent uh, or look very similar to log, uh, Canon C log, which you can get on uh, cameras like their C300, C500, etc. And basically help you match your DSLR footage to those higher end cameras. Which isn't necessarily true because of the way cameras work and the way the compression is. It's not actual log, but it's closer to log so it does give you a lot more uh, leeway uh, in theory. So what I'm going to actually just be doing really quick in this video, I don't want to get too into detail or anything. Basically what I'm going to be showing you is I'm going to be showing you the new EOS HDC log, Technicolor Cine Style, and Canon Standard Picture Profile just so that you can compare them. Uh, and see, and then I'll do a little bit of wrap up right at the end, but I'm not going to get too technical, alright? So let's take a look really quick. Alright, so that was it. This is just a couple of shots I shot really quick while I was up visiting my parents. And I, I just wanted to talk about that for a little bit. I do think that the EOS HD log looks better. That might just be a personal preference for me. Uh, but one of the major things I noticed between it versus CineStyle is that CineStyle has always had the tendency to go kind of a, a half a stop higher than what the standard picture profile was exposing for. So if your standard picture pro profile was exposed at a zero, then you'd have a plus one on uh, CineStyle essentially. So you'd have to darken it down a little bit in almost every situation. Whereas the EOS HD log is a lot darker, um, the, the gray is kind of a more, uh, I guess, medium gray rather than a lighter gray where it is on the CineStyle, but I don't think it necessarily gives any more dynamic range. I think it gives about the same kind of flatness as CineStyle does, it just doesn't expose as high so you feel less clipping with lights and more clipping with darks. But as we know, uh, it's easier to bring up darks in post where it's a lot harder to bring down whites. So that's why I think that the EOS HD log looks a little bit better. Now it is $10, keep in mind, uh, whereas CineStyle is free, so it's not necessarily like a must have but I do think it's a little bit of a step up and I just wanted to make a little video about this uh, just so you guys can get a look at it. Alright, so I don't want to get too technical. What I'm actually going to do is post a couple of other video files down below so that you can download them and have a look at full resolution for yourself and you can dissect those all you want. So that's it guys, thank you for watching. Uh, just a quick little video to demonstrate this because I really haven't seen much about it online yet so I wanted to kind of get that out there so that some people have something to compare it against. Uh, so that's it. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you next time.